What's up, guys? Uh, I'm here at the Public House in the Heights in Houston. Um, they're having a large art exhibit, and I'm about to hang up one of my large triptychs. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions on the channel about how do I hang my pieces because they're so heavy. So I wanted to do a video. Um, I've got a pretty simple technique for hanging heavy triptychs that's uh, real easy, and it's pretty much foolproof in terms of getting it straight and lined up and not moving at all. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is one of the panels of the triptych I'm going to be hanging in. This is basically how I hang it. You can see that I used half-inch MDF board to pour this piece. And when I'm ready to hang it, I just use a T-square. You can get it at any art uh, hanging store or at Home Depot. It's just basically a little piece that's got a bar right here and then a ruler that comes down like this. And it hangs on there like that so that it's perfectly square. And I measure down how far I want on the ruler and make a mark and then also measure from the outside. So I make sure I've got a precise measurement from here to here and from here down to here. And then I do that on the other side and I use these D-rings to hang the piece. So this is a heavy piece. So I used a heavy duty one that's got these two screws. Um, they've also got lighter duty ones that are a little bit cheaper. Um, but that's basically it in terms of how I hang. I screw right into the back of the uh, MDF and these are extremely strong. I think each one is rated for like 50 pounds on the heavy duty ones. Okay, so this is the wall that I'm going to be uh, hanging the piece on. And uh, Mitch told me that the middle bolt up there is the center of the wall, so I'm going to go based off of that. And I don't know if you can see it from here, but I basically just, I know that there's a certain distance uh, from the center of my piece to where that D-ring that I showed you is. So I just went up and measured off of that and made a general line. And then I came up there with this four foot level and leveled up the line. So I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so once you get your general marks on this way and that way where you want the piece to be hung, you come up here with the level and just kind of maneuver it till you get that bubble in the center. And then you can make an adjustment on your height here. A lot of times I'll just draw a straight line from here to there. So I don't know exactly where the V-hooks are going to go, but that way I know that this is the height that they need to go and then I can just measure side to side. So once you get your first two marked, you basically just follow the same uh, procedure. Let's take this level on the mark over here, find level this way and that way, and make another mark on this side for my uh, first trip to be. So I know that I need about five inches in between each mark, so I'm just going to kind of estimate and put a line about this big. It's all going to be covered anyway. And then I know it's going to be about 20 inches, so I'm going to estimate over here and just do kind of a big line over here. So I now, now I know I've got level. Okay, so now that I've got this level line, I know I need five inches between my pieces, so or between my uh, monkey hooks. So I'm gonna put that on there. And just make a mark five inches over. And then I know between the monkey hooks, I've got about uh, 20 and three quarter inches. So I'm gonna make that mark. Got my marks. So this is what I use to anchor my pieces. They're called monkey hooks. And you basically 
just take this pointed end right here and puncture through the sheetrock. You don't even need a stud right where you made your mark. And it kind of slides through and hangs like this. And the, the point goes back up around and anchors against the back of the sheetrock. So one of these, this is a light duty one, and each one is able to hold 35 pounds. So two of these can hold 70 pounds. That's more than enough to hold even these huge pieces that I'm doing. So I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, so here's where I made my mark. My first mark is kind of a mistake. The bottom one is the one that I corrected with the level. So I'm just going to take this monkey hook and kind of work it into the wall right where I made my mark. It punches through and then you just slide it back and right as it gets there you can tell it's kind of pushing against the back and that's it. So I'm going to do that over here. So I made my marks on my level one, just based on the measurements off the back of my piece. And I put my monkey hooks in there. Here's the one drawback of the monkey hook system, is that right here, I hit a stud. And you cannot push that monkey thro hook through the stud. So it, I guess good that this happened. I can kind of show you how to come get over it. It's not really a big deal. Basically, you've got your marks that are level, but as it sits in there, let me get that focused. Your monkey hook doesn't actually sit to where the piece hangs on the mark. It's going to hang about a quarter inch lower. So what I do is basically just estimate about a quarter inch below that hole. And I'm going to screw into the stud and hang it on that. And then if need be, I can always uh, manipulate the piece and kind of pull the, pull the screw up or down uh, so that it's lined up right. Okay, so I hang the middle piece up there and I took my level and checked it out. That worked fine to drill the screw in there and um, it's uh, all level. So I'm basically just going to take those D-rings and hook them on those hooks. Alright, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to hang large heavy pieces. Like I said, this is a 76 by 48. It's on half inch MDF and it's got at least three, I want to say four layers of resin on it. So it's a very heavy piece. Um, and as you know, triptychs are pretty notorious for being difficult to hang, but uh, I was real happy with how this turned out. And that's the great thing about this method. It's pretty much foolproof. Uh, just to recap, you're going to get your level line using a four foot or a six foot level on the wall and then just make measurements based on where you screw in your d-rings on the back of your pieces and it should come out perfect every time and the added benefit of doing it this way is you know when you have a triptych hanging on hanging wire it's almost impossible to keep it straight one piece is almost always going to be kind of funky and it just never looks right this way they're locked in they're never going to move and uh, it's just a just an easy quick way to hang heavy pieces. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that's helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer you. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.